Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about making a group chest uh, reward. Um, this is kind of used in like simulator games or, you know, other other types of games. You know, you can even do tycoons or anything, but I thought I'd bring you guys this tutorial and um, some other tutorials to come like favorite game rewards or, you know, liking games, things like that. But um, yeah, if uh, before we start this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. Uh, trying to get to 100,000 guys as you can on the video. Um, I know some people have been watching the Grow Garden series and the Brain Rock Kit. Um, I have a lot of tutorials coming out, so don't you worry. But um, yeah, I just wanted to bring you this. Um, this was made by Tigo, so everyone go check him out. Of course, I'll leave in the description and um, the link to the kit. So going on forward with that, we have the Discord and we have a link as well. So if you're able to get this link, um, you should be able to claim it and open it in studio. It uh, should be pretty easy to get. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Feel free to just grab that. And once you get that, um, you're just going to import it into your game. Now, if you download a file, I think a lot of people are a little confused if you download files or get the toolbox. We just got the toolbox version, so you should be able to just open up toolbox by going to the home tab, toolbox, and then going here, and it should be under my models. Um, or just going to the model tab and hit this model button right here, and you can insert the file. Um, but yeah, so once you load it in, it's going to look like this. Um, a little read me, it just talks about ungrouping everything. But um, and we have a workspace, so you put this into here. Um, starter player scripts, we'll put this in the starter player scripts. Um, and then we have starter GUI, so we can put this in starter GUI, server script service, and then we can put this in replicated storage. Okay, so um, this is the chest. Uh, Tigo just has a thing for this, so which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is the chest. You have a oh, it looks like an indicator. Which is, oh yeah, this is the the main thing. It says group chest. So if you want to customize this, go inside of it, and you can actually just go to the text right here and go to title and like let's say you like don't want this to be blue. I mean you could you could mess around with this. Oh wait, no, sorry, UI gradient. Go to the UI gradient. Yes, of course, and um, mess around with it. You know it's up to your liking. See guys, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, so like I can go like that, and it's a group chest. Um, you can also change the font and everything by going in here as well. Um, okay, so just keep it the way it is. There needs to be. It looks like there needs to be a group chest thing, important folder, um, and then there's a touch pad, a touch box, I guess, bounding box, which is nice. Um, and then the rest is just the like looks of it, um, which I think you could actually change. It looks like right here. Okay, you can change some of it. I don't know. Uh, sand blue. Oh, you know what? This is a nice kit. Yeah, you can make you can change the colors as well, which is good. So you can actually copy and paste this wherever you like. Um, and the pad is the same thing as well. If you want to change that and, you know, do the colors, uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, so chest is good. Um, replicate storage. Oh, gosh, we have a lot in here. I didn't even realize. Um, okay, well, uh, types, currency, tool. Um, oh, okay, yeah, settings. Okay, so this is probably the main thing it looks like. You don't really have to go and change any of these scripts, I'm guessing, because he made it like that. So that's good. Um, very well done, Tio. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, okay, we'll go into this in a second here, but, um, settings, types, modules, remotes, so check claim, get initial state, claim feedback, update chest UI, and then he did tools, so I, I gave him the idea of, like, just making it so we could do tools or doing a data store, so, like, if you want, like, a curtsy, um, and then we have a chest client handler, which is nice, um, but yeah, okay, so settings, going into this, you're gonna need to do group ID, um, so, Going into your group ID, it's actually pretty simple. Um, I can just grab mine, for example. Um, just go to your groups right here, and then you just grab this little number up here. So it's just that nine number. Um, um, yeah, so just get this, and you should be good. Once you get this, uh, so I'll hit Control C. Um, you go to group setting, group ID, put it in there. Um, the mode is for chess is daily or minutely. Okay, so okay, so you can do minutes or um, daily. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Um, I definitely would recommend doing daily because uh, daily chests are always the best for simulators. But yeah, so um, cooldown, cool down. so this is 24 hours, it looks like he said. And then this is 10 minutes. Uh, minute play time, minimum time in seconds the player must be in game to claim. That's pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, it, up to you basically. Um, I, like I said, you could go here and change this to daily. Uh, rewards, um, data store name for player currency. Um, name is coins, name of the currency's later stat, um, and the amount of currency to give on claim. 
And then he has this table of tools. Um, so this is uh, tools must be around. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So he did a table of tools, so you can give people tools as well if you'd like. Um, you could do just one if you want. So if you want to do just one, just delete this, and you should be able to do that. Um, and you like you could like change the script every once in a while, every week, and still have all these tools in here. Um, but yeah, so you want to put the tool names and everything in here, and then uh, coins. And you have data store name so like player currency um if you don't know what the data store name is it's kind of hard to tell but normally you can kind of just go look at your leader stats so like um actually like i think for example uh let's see we yeah so he does a data store here i think um but i mean yeah let me see player currency i don't know if he does yeah not in here well i don't know does he do just coins in here or is it cash yeah okay he doesn't okay so Either way with the data store, um, you're just gonna have to name that. And then uh, coins, so like if you have cash, you can name it cash. Um, if you have coins, do coins. And then the amount, of course, like I said, is just based off of whatever. So you go through that. Uh, user interface, uh, warning duration, so that means a warning message, and then a touch cooldown, which is nice. Uh, data restore, max retries, maximum retry failed data store, retry delay, okay. So you don't have to really worry about these. Um, you can mess with this if you want. Um, but yeah, so, Basically, you just got to change the group ID. And then, of course, look at these. Um, and then looking at, I think, what he does here. Yeah, so he does currency and he has tools. So I'm going to actually check tool and I'll check currency. I think that's what he does here. Um, so let's just see real quick. Uh, oh, I don't know if I have my API on. Yes, that's not on. Okay, yeah. So as you can tell, retrieving data is already what it's saying. Uh, but, yeah, so you got to make sure your guys' security is on and how allowable for these, okay? Um that's for every game, honestly. I'd always make sure that's on. Okay, so you go in here, retrieving data. I don't know if it's going to work because I don't have, like, a data store. Um, oh, I already stepped on it. <laughs> okay, so... Oh gosh, that's probably... Okay, so it's going to turn them out. Okay, well, yeah, I was a little bit in the thing. Yeah, so... Leader sword cat's not found, but... Okay, so come back later. So he did, like, a little message. That's pretty cool. Well done, Tigo. Um, and, yeah, so then uh, you, you don't have the sword and everything, so... Pretty nice um so that's pretty much it you guys uh i very like how he did this very nice very very nice um and i'll, I'll i'm actually gonna let's go read through this other stuff you guys we'll talk about it but um going into the text frame actually if you want to look at this i don't know if it's just a normal scroll coin oh where is the label oh he puts it like through here and puts it in here okay so like that well if you guys want to customize it do what i just did drag it onto the scrolling frame and then go through here and you can change around some of the stuff um but perfect Okay, so I think this is what handles all of the, yeah, this is going to what handles the visually, the client side of stuff. So when it comes to the time, um, when it comes to showing the warning, so he's going to grab the warning text, put it onto that uh, that scrolling frame that we're doing, and then we're going to display it. Update countdown UI, so join group, on cooldown, loading ready to claim, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I guess he has a function set up chest, so that's basically probably just going to set it up um, initially at the beginning of the game. And then on client event, we do the uh, cooldown and stuff like these. So pretty nice. This just handles the client side of the chest, basically. And if you want, you can also probably um, change some of the th things right here. So it's like join group to claim, ready to claim, uh, I mean, ready to claim here and um, going through that. But uh, be careful with that. <laughs> but yeah, and then the, the server script is what kind of what handles all of the scripts. Um, you know, he's getting the data store, setting it. He's checking when the player joins the game, we're grabbing the time. Um, when they remove, just checks the time again, of course, um, setting that to the data store. And then currency, so leader stats, um, goes and finds that, gives tool, does by the going into the, uh, this tool folder. Um, and then, yeah, on the server invoke, this is basically what handles, um, let's see, what would he put? This is the check claim. Okay, so this is checking if the player can claim it. And then get initial state remote, which is going to check and see if it's ready, I'm guessing, in player group. Okay, so this probably handles the main majority of it. All right, well, very nice, you guys. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I have a lot of more tutorials coming out here. Uh, thank you, Tigo, again. And um, yeah, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.